Welcome back everybody. It is time for a video that you all know and love. This is another video where I look at people's apartments on Instagram and I let you know what I think, what I like, what I don't, what I do differently. And we all just get a little bit inspired with interior design. If you're new to my channel, my name is Kyra and I make videos on tips, tricks, and organization for small space living. I also have quite a few of these videos up on my channel already, so feel free to go check those out and just keep rolling with the studio apartment inspo. We're gonna start rolling with the studio apartment inspo. All right. Right, this first apartment I want to show you I think is super cute. I think it's really pretty and minimal and I love this like corner couch thing they've got going on that looks like a really comfy spot. I think it could probably only hold one person but if you're living in a studio apartment and you don't want people to come over, perfect. I also really love the shelves that they have above them. I love the books and then that they have a plant because any good shelf should have a plant. But really the main thing I want to point out in this one that I like is this table. I've seen this drop leaf table before and I think it's super cool and if you follow my channel then something you already probably know is I love things with drop leaves. That table is super cool. It has the drawers in the side for the storage, but also you can open it up just halfway like that. Or there's the other drop leaf on the other side that you could open it up all the way. I think that's super smart. Also, there's the shelves above that table that hold all of her glassware and whatnot. And I think that's really cute as well. All right, not necessarily a studio apartment, but I love this. I love that big couch with the giant ottoman and there's just plants everywhere. I don't know if that's a dog or a cat or or what curled in that basket, but I love it. I love the plants on the wall and the cactus behind the couch. I just think this is the prettiest apartment. Okay, this one is super cute. This one honestly reminds me a lot of my first apartment and how I decorated that one because I wanted everything to be really white and neutral and some gray and some pink. This is right up what my first apartment's alley was. I like that the bed is off to the side. I would put the bed on a higher bed frame. I think beds lower just make rooms seem a little bit smaller. And then also hanging that wall art higher up above the bed, kind of just elevate that area. I like that she has the little couch that's facing the opposite direction, really makes it feel like different spaces, as well as the desk facing a different direction. It just separates up this room really well. This is just the coolest studio ever. The things I would do to be able to live in some sort of apartment like this, I think that is so freaking cool. Not only is it just one room, but it makes so much sense with the closet up top, the bed up top, the desk up top, then you have a full kitchen. The staircase is like a really cool accent wall that's still see-through so you get all the light and then you still have an awesome couch area. This is my dream apartment. I think that's so cool. Okay, not a studio apartment, but this one's a tiny house. Oof, I wanna live in a tiny house so bad. Tiny houses have been my dream since honestly, I feel like I was like 13 when I started looking up tiny houses. I have always wanted one. Like there's a good chance that in my lifetime I will still get a tiny house. But how cool is this? I love the all wood, it's super neutral. You can see there's storage in the staircase, there's storage underneath the couch. Those giant windows make it seem so much bigger. When you're looking at a view like that, bring on all the windows. It's so cozy, I love it. All right, I like this one because I like showing some like really realistic studio apartments sometimes. A lot of the times under the studio apartment hashtag, a lot of the stuff just gets so beautiful in design and sometimes it's nice to throw in, this is a normal girl's apartment and I appreciate that. I like that she used that nook to put her bed away in because otherwise like, I don't know how you would make the most use of that nook, maybe a desk or something, but just pushing her bed back into it does create space really well. She has her tapestry up, the lights around the walls, like so reminds me of my college apartment. And that couch at the end I think is perfect because then she can sit on her couch and watch TV, but she could also watch it from bed if she wanted to. And I'm pretty sure that that couch is a fold out Ikea couch. I think I recognize it. Oh, okay, this is a really good one. I like that there's that tiny wall that separates her bed from the rest of the apartment. And then there's the mirrors on that wall in the kitchen area to kind of reflect it and make it feel a little bit bigger, but still super separate. It also bounces off the light, which is really cool. I think it's fun how there's the chalkboard underneath the counter Top. My one thing with that though is if your knees ever bumped it, it would smudge very quickly. But I think it's a really cute concept. The stools at the countertop, super cool. The living room is very cool, but there's no TV. And I always wonder how realistic that is. Most people use their couch to watch TV and maybe this person doesn't have a TV, but I don't know where I would put mine if that was the case. Side note, I freaking love the giant mirror in the corner and I want a mirror like that so bad and I just don't have the space. Ooh, okay, this is cool. This is a studio in East Village in New York. Look at that like separation of space, the slider. I wonder if those could close all the way to really make it a separate room. I like that everything's like kind of grays and neutrals. It's pretty. That looks like a 
big bed for that space. I don't know if it's just the photos or what. The brick accent wall, super cool. Wow, look at that tiny little kitchen. It's a little galley kitchen. Oh, the washer dryer's in there as well. But I feel like that kitchen, even though it's really thin, I feel like that does make the most of the space. And it has really nice touches, like the hardware on the sink, the tile on the backsplash, the countertop. It still looks really nice. Little dining area with the double stools. That's cool. I love that mirror. The brick walls, I just love them. They're so pretty. Wow, that is a lot of that same tile but I love it. I don't love the sink like that because then you don't get any storage under the sink, which makes it hard. But overall, like that is a very pretty bathroom. I love the glass doors. Oh, okay. This one, this is a freaking ad and it scooped me in and I am obsessed with it. I want to be able to lock a bed over the bathroom like that. It's such a good way to save space. I just don't need it on the floor. I think that's so cool. And I love that it's above the bathroom. The whole place just looks really clean and minimal. Mm, I love that. Okay. This this apartment is not my favorite only because for me and this might just be a weird personal preference the biggest separation of space I want is my kitchen to my bedroom those are two places that I utilize a lot and I don't want it to feel like I'm sleeping in my kitchen and I don't want it to feel like I'm cooking in my bedroom this apartment by having it go couch bed kitchen is not my favorite way to do it I would rather put the bed all the way towards the back of the apartment and have the couch be what's closest to the kitchen especially because I eat dinner on my couch so it kind of makes sense to me that those will be in similar spaces, but I would want the bed farthest away. Okay. Also this one feels very cluttered for me. That round table is not doing it for me. If they really wanted a table, I think doing a little drop leaf table off to the side there would make a lot more sense. The round table can't go flush against the wall. So it's taking up so much extra space and it's making it so there's very little walkway right there. The black tablecloth on top of it, I think makes it really, really bulky and heavy. That is just not how I would have handled this one's cool. I love the pendant light with that molding around it. And especially this type of bookshelf, super thin, minimalistic, separates the space, still lets all the light in, isn't an Ikea bookshelf. You would have to have an apartment that you could install that in. And that just seems kind of unrealistic unless you owned it. But I think that is a really cool space. Again, brick accent walls. They're killing me, man. Ooh, and look at that light over their gallery wall. That's pretty too. Again, another bed over the bathroom situation. I freaking love that. I think this is a cool apartment. There's not much else I can say on it except for that the desk looks cool. That's the closet underneath the bed. So like, wow, you got a lot of storage in there, but I can't see the rest of the apartment. So there's not really much room to say. All right, this one I freaking love. I want either a green or a blue velvet couch very badly, but I do not have one. I think that is just so freaking pretty. I like the old school rug on the floor in front of it. I love the pillows she has. I love this little footstooly coffee tabley thing. The mirror above the dresser, there's a little fiddle leaf, but really the showstopper in that is like, wow, I love that couch so much. Much. Oh, this is cool. It's like two separate floors, but it's only like a couple steps up. But that is very, very pretty. The separation with the gates makes it feel really separate. Like it's a bedroom and a living room, even though it is all one big room technically. I love the wall with the hats on it. I like the open closet concept. Again, that only works if all your clothes are the exact same color. This big basket that they have for their coffee table is really pretty. And the snake plant, that's cool. I like that very boho-y beachy vibe. This is fun and colorful, which which is not normally my style. They have got a blue orange theme going and I like it. That couch is really cool. That's obviously their biggest colorful statement piece. The bed is fun because they've incorporated the velvet onto the bed as well as the orange blanket, which is then the orange pillow on the couch. There's that open closet concept and there's lots of colors in there and that is not my favorite way to do it. But this sort of like kitchen island bar table that's pushed up against the back of the couch, I think is really smart and a really good way to handle the space. I think that makes a lot of sense and I like it a lot. All right, guys, this is gonna be the last one I show today. Otherwise, I will sit here and talk about these all freaking day. But this one is really cool too. This is an apartment in London. This is like one of those Ikea shelves, but it's so tall that I know it's not the same thing. But that's cool. This couch, it's hard to tell, but it's purple velvet, which is cool. There's lots of windows in this apartment. Like there's the bay window and there's the window behind the couch. So that does make it kind of hard. You will eventually have to block a window for something. But whatever this little table is they found that fits into the bay window is really neat. Their little kitchen area, you can tell that it's a purple velvet couch a little bit better now, but they have the stools up against the countertop, which is cool. It looks like such a tiny kitchen, but I mean, that's all you really need. You got your sink, you got your countertop space. Ooh, they have a cool desk and I love the giant corkboard behind it. That's really cool. I like that desk a lot. 
That's a neat one. It's very eclectic. I don't know if that's the right word, but I think it's really neat. Kind of artsy. All right, guys, I'm done. If you liked this video and you like seeing what I think of different apartments, please give it a thumbs up. If you have an apartment that you would like me to talk about, please comment down below or shoot me a message over on my Instagram. All of the information is down below. And if you haven't already, please hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time.